Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. Today I'm making a simple but delicious butternut squash soup with crispy shallots and sage. The oven is going to do a lot of work for this soup. I have here a two and a half pound butternut squash that I've sliced down the middle and I'm putting it face down on my parchment covered baking sheet and I'm putting it in a 350 degree oven until it's nice and tender. It's been about 45 minutes and this squash is tender. Oh yeah, it's totally ready to come out. I've let the squash cool for a little while so now it's easy to handle and the seeds will just come out so fast, much better after it's cooked. Now you could do this part in advance if you like. I'm going to scoop out the flesh and I should have about three cups for the soup. This soup has only six major ingredients. We're going to sweat some leeks and some whole garlic with a little cumin and then we're going to add in our cooked butternut squash, some sweet potato that I've just sliced up, a little apple juice, and I'm going to use stock today but it's still delicious made only with water. I've warmed a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in this medium pot and I'm adding my leeks and the whole garlic cloves and a little splash of cumin and I'm going to cook all of these for about five minutes over medium heat just until the leeks are nice and soft. The leeks have softened enough so I'm ready to add the other ingredients. I'm adding this cooked squash, the sweet potatoes, the apple cider, and my water or stock. I'm adding five cups here. I'm also adding a teaspoon of salt. I'm covering the pot and I'm going to bring this up to a boil. The soup is up at a rolling boil right now so I'm turning it down so it's going to go at a gentle bubble and then cook this for about, about 15 minutes just until the sweet potatoes are tender. I'm putting in shallots that I've cut into little rings into a quarter cup of olive oil and I'm making the garnish right now. It's going to be crispy shallots and sage. So I'm going to first just let this come up to heat together. At first it looks like nothing's happening and then the shallots start to really sizzle. You don't really need to stir it till you see some brown happening around the edges. When it starts to look like this and a lot of the pieces have started to brown, you want to be on top of it and stir constantly. This is about 30 seconds away from being finished so I'm going to add the sage pieces and fry them at the same time. They take only seconds. Now we're, you, as you see, some of these are browner than others and that's okay. What you want to make sure is that nothing is burnt. I'm ready to drain now. So I, I want to get the shallots separated from the oil immediately so they don't keep cooking. Make sure to have your strainer set up over a bowl ready because when you have to drain it, you've got to move quickly. I separated the shallots from the oil. I pulled the sage leaves out and chopped them up so I could keep them separate. You could blend the soup in a stand blender, but if you happen to have a stick blender known as an immersion blender, it makes blending the soup a breeze. Just make sure to immerse the blender all the way in the soup before you turn it on. A soothing warm soup on a cool autumn day.